Hello everyone, Jeff here with an example of a Euro dollar futures contract, which represents the interest on $1 million borrowed in a future three month time period. In this example, we have a December contract with a quote of 9790 and a company that needs to borrow $40 million for three months starting in December. First thing we want to know is what this quote means. The question, what interest rate can the company lock in by using this contract? The way these work is that we find the rate by taking 100 and subtracting the quote. In this case, that means 100 minus 97.90. That is 2.1, and the answer is expressed as a whole percent, so it is 2.1%. Next question, how many contracts does the company need? The Euro dollar futures contract is for $1 million. This company needs to borrow $40 million. 40 is the answer here. And we also need to know long or short. This company is planning to borrow $40 million. It needs these contracts to be short. If you were going to have a certain amount of money, in the future and you wanted to lock in an interest rate that you would earn on that amount, you would enter the contract long. This company is going to be borrowing in the future. They will enter the contract short. Next, if the actual euro dollar rate turns out to be 1.5%, what is the final settlement quote? Well, if we arrange this equation, we can actually just switch the two things around. You can get the quote by taking 100 and subtracting the rate expressed as a whole percent. 100 minus 1.5 equal to 98.50. And how much has the company gained or lost on its euro dollar contracts? Here we need a couple additional pieces of information, one definition, and that de definition is of basis point. One basis point is equal to 0.01%, and the Euro dollar futures contract is set up so that one basis point represents $25. So no matter what you're talking about, one basis point always equals 0.01% in the specific case of a euro dollar futures contract, that is equivalent to $25. In this problem, we have started with an interest rate of 2.1% and it has changed to 1.5%. That is a change of 0.6% and with a basis point equaling 0.01%, 0.60% is 60 basis points. And we've said that each of the 60 basis points represents $25. Here we get 1500 That is per contract. And we have 40 contracts. And that will be equal to $60,000. So we have 60 basis point change times $25 per basis point times 40 contracts equals $60,000. We do need to know whether this is a gain or a loss. Um, what we will do is look at the price of the contract. The price of the contract has gone from $97.90 to $98.50. The price has increased and the company is short. When you are short a contract that has increased in price, that is a loss. So what has happened here? Euro dollar futures contracts are used to hedge interest rate risk. They do so by allowing this company to lock in a particular interest rate, which happens to be 2.1%. So you may say, what good has this done? Because the company has lost $60,000 on this contract. If we do a little bit of math here, we'll see why this actually works out. By locking in the 2.1% rate, the company has committed to borrow $40 million at 
2.1 percent, 0.021, for one quarter of a year, three months. So they've locked in a borrowing cost of $210,000. When it actually comes time to borrow the money, the interest rate is only 1.5%. So their actual interest cost, $40 million, times 1.5%, 0.015, times one quarter of a year, is only $150,000. Plus, they lost $60,000 on the euro dollar futures contract. So they ended up in total paying $210,000, exactly what they were trying to do. If the situation had been reversed, they locked in 2.1%, but the interest rate turned out to be uh, 0.6 higher or 2.7%, then they would have made $60,000 their actual interest cost would have been too much, $270,000. They would then receive $60,000 and they would have ended up at $210,000. The idea here is that no matter what happened to the interest rate, they would end up in total paying the $210,000 that they wanted to lock in.